Also new tonight, we have the first picture of the little boy who fell into the gorilla enclosure at the Cincinnati Zoo. Take a look at this. You can see that 400-pound gorilla with the four-year-old uh, after that child fell in. Let's lose the banner, if we could, to see that child better. Thank you. The gorilla almost guarding the child there. This was sent in by Nine on Your Side viewer Tangie Hollifield. Witnesses say that gorilla then dragged the child around the enclosure, the child screaming for help. A three year old child has fallen into the gorilla cage. And the gorilla is slamming the child into the wall. The gorilla has the child and is dragging him around the pen. Tonight, that four year old boy remains hospital, ending the day there at the Cincinnati Zoo. She joins us live with the latest. Roseanne? Julie, the Gorilla World exhibit is closed and will remain so for the time being. Julie, this was a moment that no one ever expected. The zoo tells us this was the first time they've ever had to put down an animal for the sake of someone's life, and witnesses say they'll never forget it. All I kept saying is time's being wasted. The clock was ticking for a four year old boy who climbed and fell into a gorilla habitat at the Cincinnati Zoo. Today, at about four o'clock, a young boy uh, crawled through a barrier at our outdoor gorilla center and through some bushes and over and fell into the moat. Zoo officials say the gorilla then grabbed the boy from the water and continued to hold on to him. A witness spoke off camera. We saw a little boy's face, and when we saw his face, instantly his face took off running. As he, so we knew he was being dragged by the gorilla. And then the gorilla took him to one end of, the, of the, um, his habitat, and then the little boy started screaming again, and the gorilla dragged him back again. In the cage were two female gorillas, but the boy was in the hands of Harambe, a silverback gorilla who celebrated his 17th birthday yesterday. We're talking about an animal that's over 400 pounds and extremely strong. So, uh, no, the child wasn't under attack, but the, all sorts of things could happen. Zoo officials called their dangerous animal response team. Meanwhile, witnesses say there was commotion. The mother was in the ambulance. You seen her? She was just tore up. She was tore up. A lot of security around, but security was panicked. For about 10 minutes, the zoo staff couldn't get the boy away. He was screaming. Absolutely, he was screaming. And then he got quiet for a little bit. The zoo says it was a life-threatening situation. The response team made the decision 